Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about Balthazar Ordo, um, who was one of uh, Titus's uh, right-hand men um, in this uh, great Jedi story. Um, so I hope you guys are actually going to enjoy this character and his video today. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Balthazar Ordo was born on Mandalore in 14 BBY, and during the end of the Galactic Civil War, basically he became part of Luke's new Jedi Order. Um, Balthazar Ordo was one of the greatest warriors in, out of all the students in the Luke's New Jedi Order Academy, trained under like three notable masters um, from the New Jedi Order's history, which when, you know, Luke basically rebuilt and refounded the New Jedi Order on Yavin. He was um, probably one of the very best fighters, like I mentioned, you know, um... He went on many multiple missions as a Padawan under Luke, Mara, uh, Cornhorn, or, you know, and he would be from uh, many missions, many fronts. Um, he would, uh, he, Lisha, who's his love interest, but unfortunately, much like Titus, he um, became just disillusional with the Jedi Code. So he joined the Great Jedi Order, the Dragon's Head, and became one of Titus's right-hand men for the job, who would make it easy for him to clean the other three students. Um, they basically, he basically helped Titus founded a private militia force of their own, their Dragon's Head organization, which is basically built to hunt down Sith cults and attack Imperial Revenant forces who are working with each other during the early days of ABY. Um, and Titus, during his time hunting down Sith cults and attacking Imperial bases, would tell um, Balthazar about this new project called Proto-Mandalorian Knights, basically which is a project where they needed to get a Mandalorian mercenary army, but a mercenary army under the control of the dragon's head, with Titus as its head and leader. So he sent Balthazar back to his homeworld Mandalore, where he would um, volunteer a his own private army of Mandalorian warriors and Mandalorian servants, and with any uh, force-sensitive Mandalorians to train. Which he did. He had his own... Uh, apprentices with um, Mandalorian, who are basically Mandalorians. Unfortunately, the new Jedi Order, including the New Republic, would discover this plan or this plot of this new project. So basically, a Jedi strike team was sent in along with um, Mara to basically attack the Mandalorians, including Balthazar, and Man at the world of Duxin, or the moon world of Duxin, that is. Where Mara and her, her, you know, who was escorted by other Jedi, would face the Mandalorians and also kill Balthazar himself, um, which Mara did eventually, you know, destroy this Mandalorian mercenary army that Titus was working on. Titus, Balthazar did fight Mara pretty well, you know, managing one of those very awesome, badass fights between an awesome woman and a kick ass Mandalorian. Unfortunately, Balthazar died with honor in this battle, and Mara gave him a, you know, a warrior's death, so to speak. And after the victory on Duxin, Balthazar was basically, you know, um, killed in that action. So Balthazar, much like Titus and many others, were misguided in their attempts to stop the Sith. Instead of balancing the Force, which many people didn't agree with, Balthazar and the people who worked behind the dragon's head were not considered themselves Sith. They weren't misguided. They just believed they were doing the right things. But unfortunately, doing the right things and doing honorably got them all killed. Balthazar was that one such example. Unfortunately, we will be ending the video here. I hope you guys do like this video. Uh, I hope you guys hit like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video actually from, you know, the day. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.